This video is sponsored by DJI. A few weeks back, I reviewed the Osmo Action 3 from DJI. Now we have the Osmo Action 4, and I've come to the Lake District in July in the UK to test it out in two scenarios, because there's one big update about this camera which fascinates me. So I've got a confession to make. I want everything that DJI makes. Literally, whether it's a drone or an action camera or a gimbal, they've got this knack of making stuff that quite often I don't need, but I just really, really want. Action cameras are a great example of this. I'm a tech reviewer, so normally I'm in a studio filming things undercover. Why would I ever need an action camera? Well, as it turns out, there's a very good reason. You see, I'm doing loads of these kind of vlog style videos and in the past, I'd have taken a great big DSLR camera, which is heavy and expensive, or I'd have taken something like the Sony ZV-1, which is a great little camera, but isn't waterproof and has terrible battery life. The Osmo Action 4 solves all of those problems. Now that makes the way that I test cameras like this quite different. I'm not gonna attach it to a snowboard or hang it from a plane or attach it to a tennis racket and have a few rounds with Roger Federer. I'm gonna use it for two things. One is vlogging, like you're seeing now, and two is attaching it to a mountain bike tomorrow. But it really is the vlogging aspect of this camera that excites me and might excite you as well. It's just got so much going for it in that regard. And everything you see in this video is shot with the Osmo Action 4, apart from the footage of the camera itself, obviously, but everything else is on this, including the audio, which is going to be interesting because if you've ever been to the Lake District and got up quite high, you'll know how unbelievably windy it can get. And I'm not going to do anything to this audio in post-production apart from roll off the bottom end because I don't want to blow your speakers with that sub 30 hertz rumble. Anyway, onwards. <laughs> Extreme wind test of the DJI Osmo Action Force. 
So let's talk about the specs of the Osmo Action 4 and the differences between this and the Osmo Action 3 because on the face of it they look pretty much identical. The only differences really are some spec marks around the lens and also a slightly different coloured recording button. The Osmo Action 4 weighs the same as the Action 3 which is a good thing because it's very light. It also has the exact same magnetic accessory mount which is so handy because I can just basically pinch these two things here and take it off this extension arm and then clip it back on like that. It's so, so handy. It still has that massive 155 degree viewing angle and shoots up to 4K at 120 FPS. Right, time for some more specs. So the Osmo Action 4 is deep freeze resistant, which means it can go right down to minus 20 degrees. It's also 18 meters waterproof or 60 with the waterproof casing. And it has the same 160 hours of battery that we got from the Action 4, including the very DJI and very fantastic battery charging case, which holds three batteries and is very typically robust, which is what you expect from DJI. If you get the action combo, you get this, you get three batteries, and you get this extension rod as well, which I've been using all day today. Along with the launch of the Osmo Action 4, DJI are promising a much wider ecosystem of accessories, including this brilliant ND filter set. Again, these come in a very DJI case, and you can basically attach them to the Osmo Action 4 via the screw on the lens mount, and that makes the pro shooting much easier. It means you can maintain settings in certain conditions if that's your style of shooting without worrying about changing the shutter speed and that sort of stuff. But the biggest update this camera has had is the sensor which is now bigger than the Osmo Action 3 and that means better low light capabilities and better image quality and that is a big deal. The big question you might have is why would you use an action cam for vlogging? I went to New York City a few weeks back and used the Osmo Action 3 as my main camera for one of the videos that I shot while I was there and it did a brilliant job. And there's a few reasons why it was so amazing. Firstly, it's small and inconspicuous, which when you're vlogging is important because vlogging is just a weird thing to do. And because it's so small, you can place it pretty much anywhere. There's been loads of cases in this video so far where I've not used any kind of accessory. I've just taken the Osmo Action 4 and placed it on a ledge, on a gate, anywhere basically. And you get some really interesting shots when you do that. It's also much more robust than a big DSLR or a small point and shoot camera. These things are built built for action, hence the name, which means you can chuck them around and not worry about them. And again, when you're vlogging, that's really important. You don't want to be held up with worrying about your camera. It's also so convenient to start shooting whenever you want. So basically, even when the camera's turned off, you just hit the record button, it turns on automatically, you start waffling onto yourself, and then when you're finished, you press the record button again, and it turns itself off. Zero faff. And the image quality is fantastic, particularly on this Osmo Action 4 with the bigger sensor. And the stabilization as well is so handy when you're on rough terrain or you just want to do nice sweeping, smooth panning shots of the area around you. These are such good vlogging cameras, but they are also action cams, which is why tomorrow, or in a few seconds, I'm going to take it south and strap it to something a bit more action-y. So, um, Let's cut to that. Okay, so the purpose of today is to show you all of the different modes this camera has. So the different stabilization settings, the different fields of view, the different color profile, and the different frame rate. I'm gonna do all of that on this e-bike over here. So I'm gonna strap this to that, and I'm going to shut up. The rest of this video, or the next few sections anyway, are gonna be exactly what this thing is capable of in action mode.
Okay, so some thoughts on the Osmo Action 4. One, it's a brilliant, convenient, no hassle vlogging camera. I'm completely sold on using an action cam as a vlogging camera. It just removes all of the faff from that kind of video. And if you know me, you know I hate faff. Secondly, and as you've just seen, it's a fantastic action cam, so it really lives up to its name. Those stabilization settings are, as you'd expect from DJI, amazing. And the field of view, the standard field of view is great actually for vlogging. This is the wide, field of view, but the ultra wide is brilliant if you want to take in more of your surroundings. It's got everything going for it. And that new sensor provides amazing imagery as you've seen in the beautiful Lake District. The accessories are fantastic as well. If you're interested, I've been using this chest mount on some of that footage that you've just seen, and also the bike mount on the bike itself just to attach it safely. But also for the last two days, I've been using that extension rod, which is a great way to use it for vlogging. And the battery life, guys, honestly, I think I've got through two batteries over the last two days which bearing in mind how much footage I've shot is just amazing. DJI you have done it again thank you for making my life so much easier as a YouTuber and for you guys I'm gonna leave you with this beautiful scene. Thanks for watching.